Okay, check this out. This is a Nexion display. That is a Nexion graph at the bottom. That was really hard to get to work. So I want to show you some tips on how to make that work. Okay, to use the graph, you don't have to bother installing any of the special Nexion libraries. All you have to do is do a serial output. You see right here, I got a little graph me thing. It's taking the temperature. First you have to reduce the size of your output on your add string to within the limits of your current graph. Like if you make the graph small, the graph will actually count smaller numbers. Like it's supposed to go up to uh, 0 to 255. Because I made my graph only a portion of the screen, my graph only goes up to 105. So it goes from 0 to 105 instead of 0 to 255. So um, <laughs> one of the first mistakes I made that I couldn't get it to work was I was putting in numbers too big. So you can see here I used the uh, map function in order to take my uh, numbers and reduce them to something small enough to fit within that area. For the output, you do the add, but when you do the add, sorry this is shaky, I'm really holding this by hand. Uh, when you do the add, make sure there's no spaces in the add. Like just the add, one space, and then number, comma, number, comma, number. Like no spaces in there. If you put any space, will not work. Okay, here we are back in the uh, Nexian editor. You can see my little graphs in there. You see how small they are. This is the new version. So that means that the numbers that go into my new graph are going to have to be even smaller. That probably only goes from like 0 to, I don't know, 30 or 40, which means you have to use map again to reduce whatever you're putting into it to even a smaller area in order to fit in there. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, this is really important, and this also stopped me from making use of it. Um, when you're putting that in your ad stuff, it's always going to be um, ID, and then it's going to be the channel. Now when you put in the channel, do channel minus one, because let's say you want to hit channel one, you don't put in channel one, you put in channel zero. If you want to hit channel two, you put in channel one. That was something that really messed me up. I was always putting in the wrong channel, so I never saw any output. My ID was occasionally wrong, so I saw no output. <laughs> These things are very finicky. But once you get them working, they're stupid easy. Like, I'm going to use this for everything. I'm going to have to buy a ton of these things. Okay, hopefully that will allow you to get your, um, your graphs working right.